Hello booktube! This is Brecky from Brecky Writes and this is Brecky Reads. This is my TBR for the Underhyped Readathon. The Underhyped Readathon was started by Charlotte from Ramblings of an Elf Pyre. I will link the Goodreads group and her channel in the description below and I heard about it from Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts who I'll also link in the description below. The idea behind the Underhyped Readathon is that you'll be reading books that you think are underhyped. Now according to Charlotte you can make up what you think underhyped is but for me all of the books that I am going to be reading have less than 5,000 ratings on Goodreads. In fact, some of them only have around a thousand and one of them has under 200. The Underhyped Readathon is going from Saturday, February 27th, that's this Saturday, until March 4th, Friday, March 4th. So it's going to start on a Saturday and end on a Friday and the idea is to read as many books in your TBR that are you consider underhyped and to do a video or a blog post giving those books reviews and kind of getting them t being talked about on a larger platform. I'm taking this TBR as an opportunity to read some books that I thought looked interesting and that I ordered from Book Outlet, but I haven't really seen people talk much about and I don't have a lot of feedback about. I'm excited to tackle these books and to read some new things from some new to me authors. The first book on my TBR, Shadows Cast by Stars by Katherine Knutson. Shadows Cast by Stars only has 1,432 ratings and it has an average of 3.55 stars on Goodreads. This is a debut novel by Katherine Netson and it is about a 16 year old girl named Cassandra and her twin brother Paul who are I believe Native American and because they are Native peoples they've survived a plague and the government is after them for their blood and something about the fact that they're Native their blood has particular quality that makes them immune to a plague that has ravaged the world so they are being chased and have to run away and survive. That's all I really know about it because it hasn't gotten a lot of reviews. I read through the first chapter just to see if it was something I would like and it made me interested so this will definitely be the first one I read during this TBR. The second book on my TBR, The Accident Season by Moira Foley Doyle. Now I've seen one review of this book on booktube and I don't know if this has made a lot of rounds but I have seen one review of this. However, The Accident Season only has 3,759 ratings on Goodreads, so under that 5,000 rating cutoff, and it has an average of 3.64 stars, so kind of in the middle. It's about a teenage girl named Kara and her family that every October they become accident prone. In fact, one October her father died because of these accidents. So they accident proof their house and they try to hide from the accidents as much as possible. They like lock up their knives and they pad any sharp corners. And when she turns 17, Kara decides she's going to ask questions for why her family seems so accident prone in the month of October. So this book is about her discovering whether or not her family is cursed. I think there's some magical realism in this. I'm not sure beyond that, but the premise that there is an accident season I think is really fascinating and I'm excited to read this book. My third book on the underhyped TBR list is Against a Darkening Sky by Lauren B. Davis. Now Against a Darkening Sky only has a 122 reviews on Goodreads, but it does have a 3.94 star rating, so that's pretty exciting. I'm not 100% sure what the plot of this is, but I know it takes place in 7th century England with a young woman who is pagan thrust into the lives of a recently converted Christian community, I believe. I think the young woman is a plague survivor, which is why she's in a new community. I believe the story follows her romantic entanglement with a Christian in an era where Christianity is sort of taking over and paganism is being wiped out essentially through conquest and intermarriage and things like that. I don't know that much about it other than I, it takes place in 7th century England, but I like historical fiction. I haven't read a lot of historical fiction recently and I'm looking forward to this one. And the last book on my underhyped readathon TBR is Starglass by Phoebe North. Starglass is the first in a duology. Its sequel is called Starbreak. Starglass has 1,791 ratings on Goodreads and an average of 3.66 stars. This is a science fiction story of Tara. She and her family are aboard a ship traveling through space 
looking for a new planet. While she's on this ship, she witnesses a murder and that throws her into a crazy adventure. I really don't know much more than that. I don't read a lot of science fiction and this is an attempt to read a bit more broadly to get out of just reading my fantasy. James Dashner and Veronica Roth both have blurbed this book, so I think that that's a good sign. So hopefully if I can get through everything else, I'll be reaching for Starglass at the end of this week. So these are my four books for the under-hyped readathon. I'm going to try to get through this week. I'm not sure I'll read all four of these because none of these are particularly small novels, but they're all books that are pretty underhyped. I haven't really heard about them on booktube and they definitely have less than 5,000 ratings on Goodreads. What are some of your favorite underhyped books? I'd love some recommendations so I can get to read a little bit more broadly. Are you participating in the underhyped readathon as well? I'd love for you to tell me what you're reading in the comments. Have a great week and I will see you guys soon. Bye!